losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that I And welcome to the video just been on a big ass walk, as you can tell, with the doggo and Robin. Today is a cool, cool video. We're gonna take you through ultimate upper body workout. And when I say upper body, I mean hitting shoulders, hitting chest, hitting back, hitting biceps, hitting triceps, all in one workout. For a beginner, upper lower splits are absolutely brilliant. My current split is push, pull, legs, rest, upper body, legs, rest. So this is upper body session, and this is an upper body session you need to be doing. Do this exact upper body workout and you will make insane gains. You cannot go wrong with it. The volume is right, the intensity is right, the rep schemes are right. You gotta do it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get into the workout, and after that, we're gonna get into some more cool shit. Because we've got, again, announcements left, right, and center at the moment. Before we get into the workout, give a thumbs up on the video. Really helps with the channel. Let's get into it. I keep on working, got purpose and worth Music's my cure and this world is my purse Get rid of this curse with every reverse Of course I've been hurt but some not much worse Leave me alone, get out of my head Lock out the opinions until I'm dead They all go to sleep but you listen instead Listen some more and you'll cease to regret I keep on working, I got it on track You gonna see my name up on a flag I sail this ship and I'll never come back I keep this bitch on a line to attack Never look back, I make a record like crash Top of my bracket I smash, hop like a pack I'm about to stack it like cash It's gonna happen so fast It never changed Myself, I've always stayed the same. No doubt, I've always played the game. All out, and I am here to stay right now. So don't call it a comeback. My thing. I don't look the other way, I stare that motherfucker straight Uh, don't care what they say, nah, everyone's the same Don't get caught up in their games, just pick a lane and do your thing I don't just wanna be great, I'll be the best Make everybody forget all the rest Man, I feel blessed, pulling through best Open my chest for that haters request I'll be okay, I pick my lane I'ma stick to it like horse of the fame This is the game that we all play And I'ma no wing in the fuck out my way I've changed myself I've always stayed the same no doubt, I've always played the game All out, and I am here to stay Right now, so don't call it a comeback It's training done Post workout meal, the good old bacon, pancakes, banana, strawberries Yeah <laughs> Get it in. Right, so we've got an order in. I've been waiting for this order just because the last few weeks, especially having like outings for my birthday and trying to make restaurant food work, pretty much clogging myself up, man. But you'll know that when you're low calorie and you've got to go out and eat at a restaurant, you pretty much fucking starve yourself all goddamn day <laughs> in order to make it work. And what that does, it means that your fiber intake's low, your digestion gets absolutely fucked up and you completely out your routine so you don't shit for a week. And that, that's, that's been me, guys. So thank you. What I've got in, in order to combat that, I'm better now because I'm eating shit tons of fruit and veg within my diet, um, is, so, order. In order to combat it, I have got the Train by JP Digest Pharma Pro, as you can see here. This is extremely, extremely high dose digestive enzyme that you have two to three times a day with your meals and it will just help the breakdown of food, okay? And it should hopefully allow me to, if I can shit one more time a day, guys, I'm sorry to be so graphic, but I'll be a very happy man and my stomach feel a lot better. So yes, there's that. What I've got as well, because I've not had pre-workout in so long, I've been dying. I got up at freaking quarter past five this morning and trained legs on no pre. Who the fuck does that? I was sluggish. I did not have the energy for it. It was a good workout, but 
not the best. Again, trained by JP. Do not fucking miss. The ingredients of this are unbelievable. So per scoop, you've got 3,000 megs of citrulline, uh, 1,750 megs of beta alanine, 500 megs taurine, 200 megs caffeine, 200 megs juniper berry, among some other bits as well. So really high dose, stimmed to fuck. It freaking works. It tastes delicious. And I always get an unbelievable kick from my workouts using this. So guys, if you want to put an order in with Train by JP supplements, as you know, I am affiliated with them as well so if you want 10% off your order use the code connor l10 and you get 10% off yeah it helps out your boy as well so please do that and you'll not regret using those supplements definitely top end in the supplement world right now i'm gonna go out on a walk get my steps in do about three three and a half miles and that should do my steps for the day and i might go out another walk later we'll see see you later my legs are fucked and we had 11k steps in <laughs> ah me and robin have got a new new walk that we're doing every single day it gets a lot Shit, ton, it gets about 8k steps in, all right? It's about three and a half miles. We do it with the dog, really easy. The weather is beautiful. Right now, it's like pushing 20 degrees every day, so it's easy, but when you've got no energy, when you're three weeks out, and your calories are low, and you've just done fucking legs, and you're on legs twice a week, you've got cardio, fuck bitch, man. Ah, what I'm saying is my legs are fucking tired, guys. That was a real struggle, that today. I was dying to eat after it. Three weeks, boys, three weeks. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make it. And I'm gonna give you a little nice juicy insider on how to make your physique look better right about now. Check this out. Sorry if this is a bit too much for you. Fuck it, it's part of my life, you're following. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Right, enough of this nudity bullshit, tanning up bullshit. I wanted to go over a recap of the workout because I'm very much aware that it was more of a montage. However, upper body session, guys, when you want to gain mass. Now, when I'm putting this together and I'm saying it's the seven exercises that you need for muscle growth in the upper body, <clears throat> it will work. Exercise selection isn't as important as people think. However, it, it does matter when it comes to you specifically, when you're looking at your weaknesses, your strengths, where you want to build overall, what keeps you healthy, Healthy, what keeps you pain free, what allows you to execute better, squeeze the muscle better, get the most out of the reps. Okay. For my upper body session, I tend to find <clears throat> starting with shoulders is perfect. Okay. My shoulders have been a weakness for a little bit of a while, and my chest has always naturally been a stronger point. Now, I do have a push day in which starts with majority chest. Okay. So there is that. So don't don't get confused that it's just all in on shoulders. So exercise number one, hammer strength, shoulder press. We've got one heavy top set of seven to 12 reps and two back off sets of 10 to 15 reps. Anytime we do a top set and a back off set, when we come to this back off set, we drop the load by 20% of what we did on the top set. So for example, let's say you did top set 100 kilos, your back off set would be 80 kilos. And that's always the perfect range that you want to go up for. So keep that in mind. Exercise two, again for shoulders, moving into a dumbbell seat side lateral, three working sets of 15 to 20. And I managed to hit three sets of 20 with 17.5 kilos. I definitely recommend keeping these higher rep on this session. Unbelievable for the side delt. Now on my push day, I do have more isolation style exercises with the cables and doing cuffs, like cuff laterals and all that stuff, which in my opinion are even better. But variety is the spice of life. Okay, then moving in to chest, starting with a sternal cable press. These feel phenomenal. They keep you healthy. There's no shoulder issues. It's the chest just gets blown up. You can go relatively heavy on them. Um, I struggled a little bit today. I just got, I didn't have a spot in order to get the cable out. But I could. there was ways that I could have sorted that out by using uh, daisy chains and carabiners, but I didn't. I'm lazy. <laughs> so yeah, that was free working sets on that. Then moving into the prime incline press. I'll be really honest with you guys. I would normally do a giant set of pec deck, but it was taken. So I actually did a giant set on the prime incline press where upper chest is the priority and the focus on this. For me, the upper chest is definitely a weak point as it is for most guys where the muscle uh, fibers are a little thinner, a bit harder to grow. So did a giant set on here. Literally just put 45 kilos, I think, on the side on the top peg where the loading is heavy through the bottom part of the range and did a giant set of 40 reps. So what, what does that mean? That means that first set, I might have hit like 15 reps and then I hit like seven, seven, five, and five and whatever until I hit 40 reps. So the chest pump was unbelievable. So I do recommend once a week on your chest that you do put in a giant set of 40 reps. You wonders for gaining muscle and it works extremely well for your pet. After this, it is upper body session. So the back needs volume. I prefer um, to do a seated machine row. No lower back loading because I do have legs like the day before that and it's the next session after it as well. So 
upper back seated machine row, I do it on the live fitness seated row. Unbelievable, four working sets. I try and stay in the rep scheme of eight to 12 reps on that. Then moving it into triceps to blitz them, finish them off. Long rope extensions, three working sets of 10 to 15, really simple. And then moving in to a form of a bicep curl. I used to do the standard standing cable curl, but then we could load uh, the different heads and do uh, single arm machine preacher, which I do once a week. We could do hammer curls. We could do all sorts of stuff. Okay, so follow that structure for your upper body. So two shoulders, two chests, one back, one triceps, one biceps, and you will not go wrong, okay? That's a very, very, very effective way to plan your upper body session. If you've got really strong delts and a weak chest, two chests to start with, two shoulders, back, triceps, biceps, do it that way. You have to make these sessions adapt to you and what works for you. So that's what you're gonna do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got a little bit out of this explanation. It was boring for, but yeah, I will hit you with some more educational stuff, talking about my training, but for now, guys, something cool coming in the next video, so stay tuned. Like the video, leave a thumbs up on it. If you don't, I will, you know, I'll reach through the screen and I have to attack you. I'm going to have to do it. I'm sorry. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to chat with me. And I've got my affiliate codes down below. If you want 10% off JP supplements, click the link. And if you want coaching, if you want to transform your physique, apply by clicking the link below as well. But that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.